testing the 13-inch MacBook Pro's battery life using Apple's iTunes Movie Playback Test. So before you start this test, you want to make sure that your MacBook Pro is fully charged, and you can check that just by clicking the battery icon in the menu bar. So here I can see that my MacBook battery is fully charged. Next, we want to open up iTunes and download a couple of movies. You may already have movies that you've purchased from iTunes in the past. If it has that little cloud icon in the bottom left-hand corner, you can click that cloud icon to download it from iTunes in the cloud. I have several movies here that I've already downloaded, like Hugo and Hot Summer Days and Key Largo. But really, you only need to take two movies, add them to a playlist, and then basically repeat them over and over. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to right-click, select New Playlist, and I have the playlist created. Then I'm just going to drag each movie over to that playlist. Now, Hugo has iTunes Movie Extra, so we'll deal with that in a second. Uh, so I can stop that download because it wants to add the extras along with the actual movie. So we don't want those extras over there. Uh, I'm going to add over Hot Summer Days as well. So we'll just drag that over to our playlist like that. And click our playlist and we'll see we have three items there. I'm going to remove the iTunes extras. So just remove from playlist. So now I just have two movies, Hugo and Hot Summer Days. And you wanna right click on each movie to make sure that it's set to playback in full HD 1080p. So I'm gonna right click on Hugo here, select video quality and make sure high definition is selected and do the same here for Hot Summer Days. So both of them are enabled for 1080p playback. So we can minimize iTunes now or close it out. Uh, we'll get back to that later. The next thing we wanna do here is to open up the Mac App Store and we want to download one of my favorite apps for doing tests like this. And it's called Mr. Stopwatch. Now, you don't have to have this. It is $1.99. So you don't have to have this. But I find it super useful because it makes it so you don't have to monitor your, your MacBook Pro uh, as you're doing this battery test. Because it will pick up where it left off after the MacBook Pro shuts down. Which is really nice because it tells you basically how long your battery lasts without you having to sit there and monitor it or record the screen or any of that. So this is really nice to have. So once you have Mr. Stopwatch installed, you'll find it in your list of apps here. We'll get back to that a little bit later. And now we want to restart our MacBook Pro so we have a fresh, clean slate to start with for our battery test. So just go to the Apple menu and go to Restart. And just click Restart and your MacBook Pro will restart. Now, once you come back up, you want to enter your password, but don't log in without holding the Shift key on your keyboard. So hold the shift key and then click the login button to log in. Now this prevents any of your login items in your user profile from starting up automatically. And that can potentially save battery life. Now we wanna open up system preferences, go to displays and disable the automatically adjust brightness setting. Now on our touch bar, we wanna open up the brightness slider, slide it all the way down and then tap the increase button 12 times to set it to 75% brightness. Now we want to also open up our control strip and disable keyboard brightness. And then we want to turn the volume all the way down and then increase it to 50% by tapping eight times on the increase button. And now you want to press and hold the option key on your keyboard and then click the notification center button like this to disable notifications. Okay, so now let's get started. Let's first launch Mr. Stopwatch. And then we want to click where it says Mr. Stopwatch in the mini bar and then select hide or you can use command H. So that just hides Mr. Stopwatch, but you notice it's still in the menu bar and we can start or stop it right there when it's time to do so. Now we wanna open up iTunes again and we wanna go back to our playlist and we wanna go up to where it says controls in the menu bar, select repeat and select all. And this will make it so that the movies continue to play over and over back to back repeatedly until your MacBook dies. Now just to test this out, I'm going to move the playhead all the way to the end of this movie here and you're going to notice that it's going to start playing the next movie right after this movie finishes see it just like that so this will just continue to repeat over and over until your macbook dies that's exactly what we want so now it's time to unplug the power cable from the macbook pro and then start the playback on our playlist and then start mr stopwatch in the mini bar just like this so now, ladies and gentlemen, the battery test, the iTunes movie playback battery test is running. You can see it's already about a minute in. So eight hours later, guess what? It's still running, but not for long. Eight hours and 10 minutes 
and about 46 seconds in, the MacBook Pro dies. So, what's your battery life like? The nice thing about using an app like Mr. Stopwatch is that you can let this thing run without having to watch it. And once you boot it back up, you're gonna see exactly where Mr. Stopwatch left off. It's gonna pick up exactly right where it left off. So that will give you a very close estimate of your MacBook Pro's battery life. Now with this particular test, Apple claims that you can get up to 10 hours of battery life. Notice the word up to, so they're not guaranteeing that you're gonna get 10 hours. However, this test was even more stringent than Apple's very own test, and I still got close to eight hours of battery life. Now admittedly, I am using a slightly faster MacBook Pro with more RAM, but I don't think that would account for a huge discrepancy in iTunes movie playback. So admittedly, that's not the greatest, but it's decent, I guess you could say. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.